Hi everyone, my name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com and the Ascend 90 Day Transformation Program. And this is my YouTube video for Wednesday, July the 3rd, 2013. Happiness is a byproduct. That's the title of today's uh, video blog. Happiness is a state of mind. It's an internal state. It is not controlled by outside circumstances or events. Sure, outside circumstances or events do impact our emotions. I get that. Things happen to us, to our families, to our companies, to sports teams that we might be uh, fans of uh, that cause us to feel happy feelings or sad feelings. Without a doubt, that's part of our humanity. But I'm talking about a deeper sense of happiness, an overall happiness about life. And that's what I think you can maintain despite outside circumstances, even though you might be temporarily, say a family member uh, passes away or uh, something negative happens to your business, of course, uh, that's not a cause for increased happiness. It can temporarily cause us to feel sadness. But again, the most effective, most productive, um, most self-actualized, if you will, people on the planet are able to very quickly bounce back from those disappointments, those things that cause temporary sadness, and to maintain that state of happiness because it is not controlled. It might be influenced by, but it is certainly not controlled by anybody else, any set of circumstances. It's certainly not a goal. Happiness should not be a goal for you, that somehow you're going to attain happiness in the future when you reach a certain milestone or you uh, gain a certain uh, position in your company or uh, you have enough financial uh, wherewithal to buy a particular possession. That does not, I mean, you've heard it before, money doesn't buy happiness. That's where that cliche comes from because it doesn't. And so many people that have become uh, externally uh, successful and wealthy are actually not happy as opposed to those that have less many people that have less are extremely happy and if you ask them about their source of happiness it's about their own sense of purpose who they are what they're here for it's actually quite a bit about their servanthood their uh, track record and habit of serving other people. You might have heard this before. You want to reach your goals, you want to reach a state of happiness, help other people reach their goals, help other people uh, achieve a state of happiness, and that is the surest way to happiness yourself. In my personal opinion, I think a state of happiness is driven by, again, not only our sense of purpose, which I just said, but it's also at our reaching our potential, our developing uh, skills, new skills, new capabilities, our ability to serve and to be useful to others. And so that's, that's really where I think many people, myself included, derive tremendous satisfaction and happiness from acquiring new skills and then of course applying those skills in the service of others. And then once you've done that, of course, you can go do it again. Acquire new skills, new capabilities, new abilities to do uh, new things uh, to help either the same people that you've been serving, maybe your family, your associates, your employees, your clients, um, or some new people uh, that you're going to bring uh, into your life. So, once again, happiness is a byproduct. It is not driven by your outside circumstances. Hope you found this helpful. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com and the Ascend 90 Day Transformation Program. And wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, make it an awesome, happy, great day.